just the fact that you're entertaining someone and you're making their day better, that's like the part that I like about it. It's a really good opportunity and I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I, I love acting so yeah. much. It's something I want to do when I grow up. Yeah, like when I'm older I can say like, oh when I was like this big I was like in the National Theatre doing a show. Marianne from the National Theatre was in communication with me and offered us a free workshop to the whole of what would have been at the time our current Year 7s. And then the National got in touch saying we want some of your students to take part on the stage. So after school we publicised it, do you want to be in a meal and detectives at the National? And those first initial workshops were about getting everyone excited about the project and playing games and we kind of really wanted it to feel that anyone could come and that anyone could get the chance to do it. You didn't have to be someone who'd done all your Lambda exams. We did a mixture of workshops in schools because then it gave them a sense of what they would be doing and it also allowed for that first group of 80 children to come along and then the next time you get 30 kids that are really interested and then you sort of begin to get a core group of people that will be really committed. And I think that's the one thing that really impressed me. Although our students are talented, it didn't appear to be just on those that could, you know, shout the loudest or be overconfident. It was very much inclusive and it was very much about the ones that have a desire to participate, have a desire to commit themselves and I think they reap the rewards of it. There's 50 detectives in our group and meeting all these people, at first it would have been a bit frightening, you don't know anyone. After a while you start to get used to them. And once you've gotten used to them, it's more like, oh, I can be myself, I can be confident. The nature of the kind of work that the kids were doing on stage, lots of it was self-created. I think there was a sense of the whole group contributing to, to the ideas and that was something which we said to the parents as well, they are going to make the material that ends up being performed on stage. There'd be a stage direction, you know, the detectives tease Mr Snow or something, but it was all to be created so they were having to you know, come up with ideas, devise little things, like what we had to work out with them and with the whole team, kind of what those moments were going to be. So they really had to kind of put themselves out yeah. there with all these ideas and a lot of them were in the final show. If we don't tech a group into, um, into the show, then they can't go on. And time and time again, we would get them onto the stage and they would just step it up a gear. There were, there were times where we, we were up against it and we're making slight changes, but we didn't know how they were going to react to that. Seeing them run with that and actually embrace it and go, actually, okay, yeah, we can do this. We're ready to do this, was incredible. It's, it's great. It's good discipline. She's learning so many other skills, you know, self-management skills. Even the workshop auditions, he'd come back and kind of act out what they'd been doing, and it was obvious that he was learning a huge amount, and he just, he just loved it. When I um, go back to school, for the lessons that I've missed, I asked my um, teachers to give me work that I can, yeah, get up to date with. Part of the agreement is that you do all your homework and do this at the same time. The nature of rehearsals can very often be sitting around for large periods of time, so I think they picked up on that pretty quickly, and that's another skill they've learned, is about managing their time. I find myself doing so much more homework when I don't have a show and not like just watching TV, which is what I usually do. Every time I would go into the theatre and they would warm me up, I'd just think, I can't believe you've all turned up again today. Like the, the amount of commitment and their professionalism, getting to understand those particular kind of codes of conduct, they just absorbed it all. I was always astounded that they could give so much to a production. Every single show there's something different so you can never expect what's going to happen. There are the people that are backstage, the people that are lighting, the people that are sewing out the costumes. They had obviously loads of different kind of connections and relationships with lots of different working professionals which who gets that? I mean I still stand by they've had work experience two three years earlier than a normal teenager would experience. Now some of the, the ones that started off like really quite quiet at the beginning and the ones that have blossomed the most and they're the ones that are very conscientious, they've learnt what to do and now they're really confident and really enjoy it. And you can see that particularly at the curtain call, like you see the children that were sort of 
nervous at the beginning and then you see them at the curtain call with like the biggest smile and they're standing tall and all the shoulders are back and that's really like the applause is for me and I've been part of that. All of those people have come to see you and like, it's a good feeling. When you get clapped by loads of people, it just makes you smile and just look out into the audience to see loads of people just sitting there smiling and you smile back to them. It's fun because um, like you see bare people staring at you, but sometimes it's a bit scary. I'm not really scared, really, but I, I'm just uh, I just like being up there in front of all those people. I wanted to go on longer. Drama is about teamwork. It's about sharing your thoughts, your opinions, your ideas. Drama is so much more than just acting. It's really important for young people to understand that the skills that they're learning in the context of drama is actually skills for life. There must be so many children. Children, would some of them help us? Would any other children in this city help us? I bet I'd have you would. And me? To help the bill. To find Mr Snow. To be detectives. Detectives! detectives. I feel proud, yeah.